Hello, this is Coach Jason Drees with a quick message on identity. I hope you enjoy it. If you are struggling and not getting something that you want in life or in your business, it's not because you haven't found the right strategy. What it's really about is are you asking the right question? As a human being, you are a living, breathing, to-do list machine. We all are. We're always looking what actions to take. The problem is, action alone will never get you there. And the reason why, if we look at what Tony says about state, story, and strategy, the three keys to any result, any target, is number one, state, the emotional state that you're in. Number two, the story you're in at the moment, like what you believe. And then number three is the strategy that you run to get there. So what that really means is two-thirds of any target, of achieving any target, is mindset. The challenge with asking yourself constantly of what strategy I need to be in or what strategy I need to do is that the strategy that you are running is limited to and contained in the identity you are living in. And that identity is created by the state and the story that you're living in at that time. In life, we are driven to expand. There is growth and there is death. There is nothing in the middle. We are not bears. We do not hibernate. And... With that drive to growth comes an expansion of identity as we strive and achieve greater things. But what about that biggest challenge that you have in your life? I haven't found that relationship. I haven't got that physical body. I haven't got that income that I want. I haven't broken three into financial independence yet, regardless of what I do. Whatever that result is or challenge you haven't conquered yet, It's not because you don't know what to do. It's because you're asking the wrong question. If you've been asking yourself how, if you've been obsessing about how to do it, that is your problem right there. Because the solution to hitting this target or making more money or getting out of this debt or starting that business doesn't have anything to do with how. It has to do with who. Because right now, if you do not have that result, you are subconsciously or consciously accepting the lack of it and where you're at right now. And by focusing on that, you're also attracting it on a daily basis. So the key and the answer that you're looking for, the breakthrough, is not a breakthrough strategy. It's a breakthrough in identity, in who you are. That comes by asking yourself, who do I need to be to know how to find this answer? Who would I need to be to be able to generate $50,000 in a month? Who would I need to be to be able to lose 20 pounds in a month? Two months, three months. Who would I need to be to attract that woman of my dreams? It's all about identity. And the challenge with identity is that the dominant identity is always present. And we're reaching for new identities, whether you know it or not. Because if you think about it, the person you are now, compared to the person you were five years ago, ten years ago, you are an an entirely different person than you were then. And what the way we can think about this is that the identity you are now is different than the identity you were in the past. You have more positive emotion and less negative emotion. Every enhanced identity, we can make a few assumptions because we don't know who that next version of you is yet because you haven't created it. But we can make some assumptions about it, meaning I know the person that's going to generate that income, that one that's going to grow that business, the one that's going to lose that weight, the one that's going to find that partner is going to be happier, more excited, less stressed, Because that enhanced version of me is going to have more positive emotions and less negative emotions. It's really that simple. You can step into that more quickly by doing daily incantations, 
to pull yourself into that state. Because when you do an incanta incantation, you are literally pulling yourself into that identity. Such as, I am power, I am successful, I know the answer, I know the answer, I know the answer, I know the answer, I know the answer. I know who I need to be. I am power, I am grace, I am intelligence, I am immediate action. I do what I say. Those are some incantations you can do. And you should be doing those 15 minutes a day or more. Because the more that you're in that future identity, the more it becomes your default identity. And I had a breakthrough around this recently when I started taking my amount of, da um, amount of daily incantations from about five minutes to about 25 to 30 minutes. It had a big shift. Because here's the thing. is like we've all driven a shopping cart with a broken wheel. And I mean the one that's so broken you have to steer it with both hands. That shopping cart you're steering with both hands is literally the old or current identity that you're living in. The limited identity that is not creating that thing that you want most that you're hunting for. So what you have to do, just like with that shopping cart, you take pressure off of one of those hands for a second, it's going to steer back in that other way. You need to steer constantly to recorrect it over and over again. That old thought comes up, hey, I don't have enough money, recorrect it. Old thought comes up, man, I want to eat that, that sweet, recorrect it. That old thought comes up, oh, I'm not attractive, pull it back. That's not true. You interrupt that pattern over and over and over again, eventually you will create a new groove and that cart will now go in the direction you want it to. But the thing is, it is going to take a challenge. It's going to take a decision at a highest level. This isn't going to happen. And it might happen, I mean, stepping to your highest identity. This isn't going to happen just by saying, I want it to happen. Like, you need to commit to it. I am going to do this. I'm going to focus on this. I'm going to create my incantations, my value words, my focus, my beliefs. And I'm going to say these 20 to 30 minutes a day until I become the person who can create what I want most. And that's how you really create what you want in life. It's not about how, it's about who. It's about identity. It's about who you are. So instead of obsessing about what to do, you need to obsess about who I am. You need to obsess about who I need to be. You need to obsess about those old behaviors and patterns that drive you to food or drink or alcohol or drugs or whatever. What is causing that pattern? Interrupt it. Because here's the thing is like you do this work, you do the decision, okay, I made the decision, this is going to happen. I start doing my incantations. I'm focusing on this new, new state. I am journaling about this new state. I'm making a list of great daily gratitude lists about the state that I'm living in now about this future identity. Be grateful for it. Act as like it's already here. And what's going to happen is you are going to have one opportunity to fully integrate that breakthrough. And that breakthrough, and there are different pieces of it, but for example, let's say I'm going to wake up early and do a morning routine and exercise. The night before, you set that plan, you do those incantations, you focus on your goal, you wake up in the morning, the alarm goes off, your normal pattern may be to hit the snooze button, and your brain right there is going to fire off that new pattern. Wait a second. We are getting out of bed because we decided to. Everything's going to be different because I said so right now. And you have one chance to make that shift. So in that moment, you are either choosing to confirm the old pattern you've always wanted to change or to live in the new enhanced version of you. So what that really means is making that decision in that moment to take the action you had already decided to do. So, what if you fell in love with doing what you know you should be doing? What if you fell in love with obsessing about who you need to become to get what you want in life? What if you decided that every time you had a breakthrough thought, you were always going to take the action right after that? Because if you don't take that action, that breakthrough is dead. You got to start over. I hope this was of value. I'd like to leave you with, identify number one, what it is you really want. 
What do you want? Not what do you think is easy, not what you think the, um, you're aligned with, not what your run rate is. What do you really want? What do you really want? Not what do you need? What do you want? Did you ever stop to think that the reason you're not hitting that target is because you're aiming too low? Who you are is beyond words. You are phenomenal. Like literally, you, who you are. You're an amazing being, what you've done. How could somebody as amazing in you be aligned with such a mediocre goal? Really, that's, that's all you're willing to accept? The reason you're struggling is because you're aiming too low. And you are far more powerful than that. The way to get what you want is to aim for what you're worthy for, worthy of, and what you're worthy for. Because by doing that, you will create congruence with that end result, with that higher identity and make it happen. And along the way, there will be pain. There will be fear as you grow through your comfort zone. But you know something? That's momentary. It's fleeting. And sometimes it feel, feels like this, that's too scary. I'm going to play it safe. The easy way is comfortable. I know a lot of people on this planet, including me, like certainty. And certainty is okay. But the problem with certainty is like you're choosing certainty over the unknown. And the unknown, like Tony Robbins says, the unknown is where is the realm of passion comes from. All passion comes from the realm of uncertainty. And the level of success and happiness in your life is directly proportional to the level of uncertainty you can stand or tolerate. But here's the interesting thing. You're looking for growth. You're looking for change. You're looking for something different. And along the way, you're fearing uncertainty. But the thing is, uncertainty is actually unknown. Unknown is freedom from the mind. Unknown uncertainty is actually silence. That silence, that quiet spot within you, that quiet, all-knowing, powerful part within you that is eternal and will always be there. That is who you really are. If you've ever meditated, you can go into that space. So what's really actually happening is the ego is tricking you into believing that this certainty and, and living with this unacceptable situation is better than the unknown because the ego doesn't want to die. And the ego knows the more you're in touch with the real you, the sooner you're gonna, that ego's death is going to be imminent as you wake up. And if you've never experienced that s silence before, Here's how you do that. Sit down. Close your eyes. And with your attention on your body, take a few deep breaths. Excellent. Take a few more deep breaths. Relax your body from head to toe. Now with your body relaxed, scan your body very quickly and look for a place of stillness within your body. It may be a leg, it may be an arm, it may be a dot in your belly. Look for that space. Excellent. When you see that space, take a look at it. What does it look like in that silence or the stillness? Now imagine jumping off a giant diving board and diving into that stillness, your whole being, every part of you into that stillness until you're completely inside it. From this place of stillness, get a sense of how far that stillness extends. If you notice, that stillness is infinite. 
it goes on in every direction, every direction, up, down. It's underneath and inside and in between everything. Call that the universe, dark matter, consciousness, God, whatever you want to call it, it's everywhere. And if you listen to the sounds you're hearing between my voice and the sounds in the room right now when you're listening, if you listen to the silence between the, the noise, you can actually hear the stillness in everywhere. It's there. Listen, regardless of how, how much noise you're hearing or how much space there is between it, you can always hear the stillness at any time. And from this place of stillness, do you have any fear? Do you have any stress? Do you have any doubt? You don't. Because this is who you really are. This is the expanded you. This is the higher consciousness version of you. This is who you really are. And right now, if you think about any goal, you're probably feeling infinite possibility. This is the home base I operate from. As I'm going through the growing pains and challenges and struggles as my identity is evolving. Your identity will evolve, you will break through, you'll be successful, you'll get comfortable, and then another challenge will come again. If you're comfortable right now, you need to do something to change that because comfort will eventually turn into boredom, which will eventually, eventually turn into depression. But this is the home base right here. Coming back to this will clear your mind, clear everything. It will help you get where you want to go. So now, decide, number one, what is my target? What is going to happen? Number two, commit. I am going to do this no matter what. Number three, who do I need to become to make this happen? Number four, what qualities or things do I need to focus on to make this happen? Do I need to focus on mornings, exercise, fitness, positivity, and then use I am statements to create incantations with those? This will help you get there. And you will find, and I hope you will find, the same joy I found is the greatest, most happiest thing you can find in your life is being congruent and doing what you know you want to do. Following that voice. Following the voice inside you that knows what to do. The hard way, not the easy way. The right way, not the easy way. Because nothing feels as good as being congruent. Rock on. Raise the game. Never 